Hello friends, welcome to my channel. And I know that I, um, I said I was gonna do this a while ago, but this is a video on um, how to play Dino Pursuit game. Um, the instructions are ew, not the best I'm gonna lean with. Um, there's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of like, which way do I go? Um, so we are going to look at um, my interpretation on how to play this game and then I'll tell you about why I think the instructions were totally lacking in some areas. All right, so let me build the board game and let's get going. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you can have four players. So that's one thing to know. Then each player, you put the pink on the pink. It's not really pink. It's red. And then that is its starting point. And you find the yellow with the not yellow. And you put it in its starting point. And like so on, there are four characters and there's four starting points for the particular character. That's what it says in the instructions. These are Jurassic tokens. So Jurassic tokens, you want to, to win the game, you have to have five Jurassic tokens in your side, all right? And then you have Jurassic herds. So these are your little herd ones. And you the most herd you can have at a time on your spot is four herd tokens, okay? So that's important. All right, and then there's each one, each space has where you put your herd. Each one has their own color and it all corresponds to the particular spots. And to start the game, each person gets one herd token in their spot. So you start with one, all right? So now you have to decide who's playing the game. Now I'm gonna say that I'm gonna be this little guy, I don't know the name, and then we'll say uh, he's gonna be the other one. So we're gonna remove these two out of the game, all right? So since we're only playing with two players, it's be more fun if I have two different characters in this game. All right, so one problem. So we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at the map here first. All right, this space right here, this will be easier to see. This is a token. If you land here, you get one token piece, okay? So you get one of these, that in. And to win the game, you have to have five of these and you have to have one of your herd in the game at the start of your game. I'm gonna emphasize that at the start, not if you acquired it um, during the gameplay, but it's at the start of your play, all right? That's what, this is a token. This is a clone. And what they mean by clone, it doesn't mean you're doubling up here. It means that you get one of your dinosaur herd to go into your spot, right? So you're adding one clone because all of these are clones, all right? So you're adding one clone, all right? The most, I don't know if I mentioned, the most you can have in this spot is four clones, all right? So you have to have, you can have four clones at max. And if you get, if it says get another clone, you can't. You can only have four. I don't know why they're six, there you get six of these. If it's in the game says you can only have four at a time, makes no sense to me why there's six. That's one complaint. This, this is a slide, okay? So it says in the instructions, if you land on one of these spots, you have to do the corresponding action at the end of the slide. There is no other corresponding action at the end of the, any of these slides. So that instruction made no sense at all. So you fall here, you end up here, all right? Um, so... The other annoying part of this game, it doesn't tell you which direction to go in. I'm making an assumption that since you, you don't want to just keep doing a loop, so I'm assuming that you would want to go this direction. So I assume we go this way, but again, instructions do not say which way is, uh, sorry, in, unless you read it differently than I did, the instructions do not clearly state which way is to go, but it does say that's your starting point. And the reason why that's important is once you pass the starting point all the way around is you take your, your little clones and every pair you have, you get a token, all right? And then they go away to the discard pile. And your goal again is to have five Jurassic tokens and one herd token. And then I'll go over um, that as we go. Now each turn you pull one of these cards and you do that corresponding action as well as there is a T-Rex in here that has a you know corresponding action. He's like ah T-Rex. He stomps out herds. All right so we'll put him right there. Can't see him all the way but there he is. All right, so we're going to start the game, and it says the person that has seen the Jurassic World or Jurassic Park, any movie, last gets to go first, so we'll just say this one did, all right? So I pick up the card, 
and it says Stampede. Now, a Stampede is a very important card. This one um, makes everyone um, go to their starting location. Um, since we haven't moved at all, we just go right here. And the reason why that's important is because when you get this card and you get to your start location or you pass your start location, you double up your characters. And you get your token. So I only have one. I don't have two. So it just stays alone. All right. So then you have a discard pile. I'll be my discard pile. That'll be my draw pile. This person went. Next card. Move. This is a move card. These are little spaces. So you move. So this one's going to move four. Like I said, I'm not going to go this way because this way feels like it's a, uh, a roundage. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Falls down the slide. So he's sliding down. And now he's there. Okay, turns over, pick up mine, move four. All right, so then I'm going to go the same way. One, two, three, four. There he is. Next turn, three. One, two, three. Nothing there. Next one, move four. One, two, three, four. Landed on this square. That means that this character gets a token. You want five tokens to win the game. Gonna put it there in turn. Move four. This is actually a very, very fast game. One, two, three, four. All right. T Rex. Now, this is an important card for the rules. So, the rules, it's really weird here, state just to stomp. So, stomp action. So, it's to do it um, since, uh, crap, I don't know what character just pulled that. Oh, it would have been this one, right? <laughs> Yes, yes, this character's turn pull, pulls this card, and so uh, this T-Rex is used, that's a stomp, and it stomps out one of the herds, so that card, this one, goes away, all right? But the rule in the instructions doesn't say anything else about this, and so to me, that means I move one space, and that's how I'm going to play. Instructions do not say it, it just says stomp. Now I'm looking, okay, so it looks like you get one move. And one Jurassic token. So this character is going to get one token. Now, the, the rules do not state that, but I'm looking at that, and that clearly tells me I move one, and I get a dinosaur token. Now, that's how I'm interpreting the, the, this card. Doesn't necessarily mean the rules only say stomp. It really weird. I don't know why the rules state that, but clearly to this card, move one space and get a token. All right. The other person's turn, three, so we're on this one, one, two, three. This one is get a dinosaur, so I get a dinosaur back. All right, and we're going to pick this card up for the other person's turn. Move three, one, two, three. Nothing there because that's not that one's start position. All right, move five. One, two, three, four, five. T-Rex, this one got the T-Rex, so they get to stomp again. They're stomping this one out. Goes away. They get a token. And they get to move one space. The other one's turn. Now they got a T-Rex. All right. So now the T-Rex stomps here. Removes this guy. Okay. And um, they get a token and they move a space now it's this person's turn they get to move five spaces one two three four five now it's the other one's turn they get to move two spaces one two oh i skipped that right now was that was like one two was right there let me make sure we don't cheat all right and then move three spaces one two three it's not their home so next one Move five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're getting closer to a for rotation. Move two spaces. One, two. They get the clone. So they get a dinosaur. All right. Move two. One, two. They slide down and they passed go. Since they pass go, they have no dinosaurs here. They do not get another one, um, but they don't have to turn anything in. So that's an important feature. Move two, 
one, two. They get a token, so that one right now is winning. They just need two more tokens to win the game. Move four. One, two, three, four. Clone. So they're cloning themselves a dinosaur. And that's just a singular clone. So now they have two dinosaurs there. This one's turn. T-Rex. Move one space. Stomp one dinosaur out. And get themselves a token. Next one. Move two. One, two. They pass go, but they don't have two dinosaurs there, so they do not get to um, clone up. Move five. One, two, three, four, five. They get themselves a finally get themselves a herd again. Clone for this one. All right, so now this guy gets to move three. One, two, three. Doesn't say anything about, you know, two people can't share the same space. It doesn't say anything about that. Okay, mass clone. Everyone that's playing gets to get a clone. All right, so one clone there and one clone here. All right, so now we're moving on to the next card here. Move two. One, two. This card. This one um, is a pray and play. Um, when I was learning this game, Buddy was going, I don't understand this one. It's because you not only do you stomp one, right? So we're stomping one. You also give them, the opponent, a token. So you're, you're praying that they don't win the game because you're stomping one of their characters out because you're giving them a token, and as long as they don't have an extra token, they don't win. Um, it's a weird card. It's, I don't know. And then this one gets the same thing. Oh, it was this one. This one gets the same thing. Pray and play. I guess they were both right next to each other. Stomps one out. And gives the guy a token. So right now, um, this one has four, and this one has four. Um, so it's anyone's game. And then when you get to the end, you just shuffle them up again. So I'm going to shuffle them off screen here real quick. Okay, I mixed them up. And then we are going to go with it's this guy's turn. Oh, I forgot to move one space. I apologize for that. Uh, move four. One, two, three, four. Next one's turn. Move three. One, two, three. Slide action. Fell down the hole. Now they're both sharing the same space. It doesn't say anything about can't share the same space. So we're not going to do anything with that. And so it's the other guy's turn. Mass clone. Each person gets themselves a dinosaur. All right. Now it's this one's turn. Stampede. Okay, this guy, we're, we're going to do this guy's turn because it was his turn. He goes here, he turns in, he's got doubles, all right? So this is, he's got two doubles. You turn in your little guys. Come on, turn them in. Turn them in and you get a token, okay? He's got five here, but he uh, doesn't have a dinosaur in his herd. This guy, because it's Mass Stampede, he also goes through the little track and he has three. He turns in two because he has to turn in all doubles. All right. He's turning in your last year two. Gets a token for that. Now he's got five tokens and he has that. All right. Now it's his turn. So what just happened? He won the game. The reason why he just won the game is because you, the start of your turn, you need to have one herd and five Jurassic Park tokens. So that would be... He wins the game. There's five here, so you can see better. There is five tokens. Um, and that's how you play the game. Um, I don't... The cards that I dislike, like I was saying, is this card. I get that um, you eliminate one of theirs, and you're hoping that they have zero, and you stay at zero. But you're also giving them tokens, and that's a weird one. Um, the biggest concern is... This one, and I'll show you in the instructions um, that it states stomp, 
That looks like a plus that you move because all the other move ones are feet, right? You see that? And in plus a token. And let's uh, look at that real quick in the instruction manual. Here's the instructions in English. And then it shows right there's what we're reading. T-Rex, use the T-Rex to stomp out, remove one of your opponent's dinosaur tokens in their home territory. Doesn't show anything else about the, the plus movement or anything else. I think that is super lame. Um, and then if you're concerned about which way to slide, it does look like the top part is here. Because I was wondering about that because I was in debate of where is the opening. And it, that's got to be the start cause, and you move down. Um, so overall, this game is a very easy to play. Um, the instructions are lacking in the sense of which direction to go in. And with um, especially this card. It might last longer if you have more players and you're moving and you're stomping more people. Like, cause you're, this one, you get to choose who you're stomping out. So in the instructions, you do choose who you're stomping. You're not just stomping someone randomly. Um, and the, if you're playing with more people, just like this one, you're choosing who to stomp. Um, not necessarily if there's more than one, one other player. And you do want to play with uh, at least two people. So you and someone else. Um, but overall, it's it's... Instructions are kind of weak. Uh, I wish that there was a which direction to go in. I'm because you can see that this looks like it's forward. This way it looks forward. But if you rotate the map, you know that guy's aimed in the other direction. So you could go in either way. And if you were going in this way, you would just be doing a complete loop. And I, I mean, you could try it that way entirely up to you on how you want to play this game because the instructions do not say which way to go. And that's, that's a huge complaint on my part. So you, you just have to, so you just have to realize and like going, Hey, is this game, you know, you can, there's four players, you get the little T-Rex. It is, it is an easy game to learn. The instructions just were limiting on a few uh, steps. This is like, again, clone clone just means you get another herd piece there. It says you can only have four at a time, whereas there are six herds. That's confusing. Um, and, and then which direction do you really go in? Um, you can go uh, Jurassic world, maybe Jurassic world. You can go up. I, I went the up path because it didn't make more sense to just keep doing a loop. Whereas this way it's more beneficial where you pass going for this one. This one, you're not passing go, but you're getting closer. Um, so it's, it's all relative on i guess um which way you see the board and how you're gonna play it um but i hope this helped you decide if you want to get the game i hope i hope this helps you um how to play the game um just know that you need um make your deck and have a discard pile um that's what that one was and your discard pile you mix up to play again um thanks for watching and stay collected hi thanks for watching that last video if you liked it why don't you hit the like button if you don't want to miss out on further content, please subscribe or maybe check out the video over here.